Hello everybody, my name is Florian and in today's video I'm going to show you the SpinSolve QNMR module which allows us to set up new QNMR methods in a very easy and convenient way with the help of a graphical user interface. For this demonstration I'm going to use Diclofob Methyl with Dimethylsulfone as internal standard. We already used this sample in our blog post about QNMR on SpinSolve Benchtop NMR spectrometer. Here you can see a previously recorded 1D proton spectrum with the integral regions which we are using for assay determination of diclofob methyl. To show you how easy it is to set up a new QNMR method, I am starting from a blank template for QNMR with internal standard. In the QNMR module under Method Selection, I select the appropriate template. First, I am saving the blank method with a new name for the molecule I want to analyze. Now I can fill in all the sample information. For example, the name of the sample, the solvent which was used to solve the substance, the lot number or another information which is unique to the sample, the molar mass of the sample, the amount of sample which was used, the name of the standard, the amount of standard which was used. the molar mass of the standard, and the assay of the standard. With this complete, I can configure the acquisition and processing parameters. Depending on the configuration of my SpinSolve, I can choose from a variety of available protocols for my QNMR experiment. For this sample, I am using a proton experiment with carbon decoupling, four scans and a repetition time of 30 seconds. I can also include a shim before the measurement and define a delay for the sample to equilibrate before the measurement. Since I already inserted the sample into the spin solve, I can set the delay to zero. For processing, I have also options which you usually have for an NMR experiment, such as zero filling, apolization, phasing, baseline correction and alignment of the spectrum. Finally, I need to define the integral regions and the number of nuclei. I also have the option to align the integral and to activate a linear bias and slope correction for my integrals. Now that I've finished the method, I save it again. Each time I save the method, the software adds a new timestamp to the method name, which allows easy following of all changes I did to the method. Now I can start my experiment by clicking on the Acquire Now button. While we wait the two minutes for the experiment to finish, I like to explain some points. I've chosen the proton experiment with carbon decoupling because with this experiment I don't need to account for different number of carbon satellites for the different integral regions, which simplifies the calculation and therefore the setup a lot. With the amount of substance we used in this sample, four scans are enough for a good signal-to-noise ratio. Although in this video I use a method with an internal standard, the SpinSolve QNMR module also gives you the option to perform QNMR measurements with external standards. For this topic there is also a recent blog post available on our homepage. The QNMR module is also 
fully integrated into the SpinSolve user management and audit module, so that you can restrict the level of access for different methods to different users or groups, and everything a user does is documented in ISO-conform brace. There are also a lot of things you can do with the QNMR module, which are beyond the scope of this short video. For example, we can also define a range in which a result must be to be a valid result. We can automatically check if peaks fulfill certain conditions, like a minimum signal to noise ratio or a maximum line width. And of course, we can include a calculation of the uncertainty of our result. Also included in the QNMR module is a graphical equations editor with which you can calculate all kinds of additional results. Now let's get back to our experiment. We see the green bar which shows us the progress. The result of the assay of our substance is updated with every scan and in the spectrum panel we see the regions we integrated to determine the assay of our substance. After the experiment is finished, a PDF report is generated automatically. In this report every detail of our measurement is documented, including the integral regions and values, instrument specifications, information about the shim values and the data paths, and of course the complete audit trial. The QNMR module is of course also completely usable in combination with the SpinSoft Auto Sampler. Once a method is set up, one can choose it in the queue menu, enter or change the sample specific information and append the measurement to the queue. Finally, I want to show you the QNMR history. Here you have a complete overview of your QNMR measurements, including version numbers of the methods and sample measurement numbers. The green message indicates that the digital signature of the QNMR dataset has been verified and the data has not been modified since report generation. With this, I want to conclude today's video. If you want to read more about the QNMR module or the implementation of QNMR on SpinSort Benchtop NMR Spectrometer, please visit our homepage at macritech.com or contact us directly via sales at macritech.com. Thank you very much.